Hey guys, so Tesla just released the latest version of FSD beta and this one is a big deal. This is especially big in North America because this is where both of the bills, the public and the beta crosses each other and this is where we're able to merge the two stacks together and have a very seamless purchase experience and usability experience. Now, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll simplify it right here in the easiest way possible. Essentially, if you just bought your car, you have a public beta build and if you subscribe to FSD beta you do have a beta build meaning that if you're on the public build you're gonna get the latest cool features such as fart mode Christmas mode and whatever else mode that Tesla does launch out whereas if you're on the beta stack you're gonna have the older features and it'll take some time before Tesla pushes out some of the cooler features to you guys but the downside of being on the public build is if you do eventually want to subscribe or purchase FSD beta your build is still going to be on the highest firmware possible and this means that it takes time for the FSD beta build to reach its way up there for you to get the latest update. So to simplify it even more, if you do decide to get FSD beta subscription, you decide to punch in your visa number and get it, you're going to have to wait even longer just because it takes a while for the FSD beta build to catch up to your current firmware. Once it reaches that firmware, that's when your vehicle is going going to start downloading the beta build. So in the middle of explaining this to you guys, I'm trying to think back of what I'm even saying and it's still extremely difficult to understand. But if you guys aren't as geeky and you guys aren't as techy, might as well just wait it out. Don't really worry too much. You're going to give yourself a headache just trying to time out when you're going to get the vehicle on the latest beta firmware. My recommendation is follow Elon on Twitter and as soon as he says something about FSD beta launching to everyone, that's really when you should be subscribing to the FSD beta. Oh yeah, and it doesn't really help that everything is being labeled beta at the moment. Even the FSD public beta build is still labeled beta. So a lot of you, including my own family, have no idea and think they're on the beta build, but FSD public package does also have the beta label right next to it. But anyways guys, let's talk about this update and what it's going to offer us in terms of subscribing. So if you're lucky enough to be in the US, you're able to just subscribe and get FSD beta immediately at this point with this recent update. And if you're up in Canada, you can purchase it outright and right away after you purchase it, you should also be getting the beta update. This is especially awesome for those that purchased FSD a while back and have still been waiting for the beta program to be updated to your vehicle. I know it can be extremely frustrating that you forked out fifteen or twenty thousand dollars expecting to get it immediately, but you're still stuck with what you're getting from previous years, such as navigate on autopilot. All right, so let's just push North America out to the side a few moments here because what is the most interesting thing about this update is finally is reaching its way outside to other places around the world, such as Europe and Australia. Now, before we get into that, if you guys haven't watched my previous video on the free FSD beta trial, go check that video out. I'll drop it in the description below and up top there. But essentially what's happening is Elon is going to be giving us a free trial one entire month of using FSD beta before we purchase the software outright. And I think this is going to be a big deal to gather a lot of intake because as of right now, not a lot of people understand the capabilities of FSD beta. And some of them even think that the regular FSD is the beta. All right. So what's happening with Australia and Europe is that on the Tesla Fi app, it shows that there are two vehicles in Australia and a couple other vehicles in Europe running the FSD beta build as of right now. Now, the likelihood of this being a test vehicle for employees only is extremely high. I don't think there are any other vehicles right now from public users that are running this software, but there is still a possible chance because if you guys can't recall, there was a vehicle that was shipped directly from the US over to some place in Europe and they were driving FSD beta fine over there. Now also from Elon's prior tweet, they are starting to test on local roads around outside of North America. And he did have a timeline back then. However, that wasn't met, but that doesn't mean they haven't been testing. And that's when regulators would jump in, test the software. And if it's stable enough, that will be pushed to every vehicle in that country. Now, the very good thing here is that 
you guys can probably already see FSD beta V11 is already extremely stable and that means that the push to the full self-driving package is going to be extremely easier and much higher for the regulators once everything has been stable. I would say that the ramp up is going to be 10 times faster and better than what it was in North America just because back then the software was very gimmicky and now the software is so stable, so firm that there's only minor tweaks to be done before it's launched in those countries. So from how I'm seeing it right now, in terms of Australia, I think they're just adapting it for right-hand drive because things there are just a little bit different than North America. But once that's done, English is already a standard over there, so the car doesn't need any additional dictionary. It doesn't need additional requirements and changes. I think general driving habits are pretty much the same. So my ETA for Australia is likely closer to the end of this year and for Europe, early 2024, just because there are a lot of different driving habits over there and a lot of different languages. Now, I will be talking about this in a future video, but there is a chance that China is a month away from having FSD beta. And it's gonna be even before Australia and Europe, just because China does have a big push for self-driving and a big push from the EV manufacturers. This puts a lot of weight on Tesla in terms of being competitive. And if they don't launch FSD beta in the country, they are gonna be held back in terms of sales. Vehicle companies such as Xpeng, Neo, B. YD, Lee Auto, they already have some kind of form of self-driving that's pretty capable in the country and not to even mention other manufacturers for purely robo-taxis. And then on top of that, what makes it so much easier in China to adapt FSD beta is it uses one primary language, which is Mandarin, and then they don't have any requirements for the right-hand steering. So really, all Tesla needs to do is just get regulators on board and all the vehicles are pretty much ready to run the software. So yeah, just to simply put it, things are looking great for this year of 2023 and even better in 2024 for those countries that I've mentioned. And if you guys are outside of those countries, trust me, FSD beta is so stable right now, there is even a chance that you might also get it in 2024 as well. But yeah, the wait is almost over finally. And once that day comes, we can all celebrate together. I'm going to be extremely excited to be able to go over to a different country and just hop inside a Tesla. And one day those vehicles are going to be self-driving. So anyways, guys, before I wrap up this video, I want to give you guys an update. I will be leaving this location here for a new place very soon, and I'm going to be headed on a road trip. So lots of new videos going on. I'm going to be sleeping in the Model Y, and a lot of different content regarding that is going to be happening uh, after mid-June. I'm also going to be headed to Vancouver, BC, where I'll be meeting with the personal service advisor, and they'll be giving me more information on Project High as well as me checking out some of the made in China Canadian model wise. So if you guys are interested in my journey there and everything that's going to be happening, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. As well, I might be launching another channel and I'm going to be posting a lot of content outside of what I'm doing here because this is mainly for news and different sources. So you're going to see a totally different background than what you're seeing here right now. I'm going to be filming a lot outside, a lot of different testing, and that channel is going to be mainly for products that are being sponsored for this channel that I really do enjoy and personally like. So if you guys want to follow me along there, go check it out. I'll drop my other link in the description below. Right now, I don't have any subscribers there. I don't even have any videos there, but if you guys want to do me a big favor and just hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so as soon as I release anything else, I will let you guys know first. So yeah, this should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you know what to do. This is John once again. Peace out.